Hi guys, it's Jamie here and it's day seven of the Defember Ember Challenge and the prompts were safety pin and stamps. I've done two different versions for you. The first one is the peacock with the safety pins as the feathers on the tail and the stamps being stamps from India with little letters inside the envelope. So that's as a tuck spot. The second version is for the Gothic Horror, which is a competition prize. And you can get details of that from the description with a link. And here I've done a whole booklet that will go inside the journal. And you have pocket here, a pocket here. Obviously you've got your stamps and your safety pins. There's actually tuck spots here, but I've yet to find a little something that will fit into those two tuck spots inside just a bit of decoration with the safety pins here we have a belly band safety pin up here the stamp here and a collaged tag and then on the back side tiny bit of decoration with stamps and a safety pin and a bit of off cut the video that follows starts with the peacock and then we also cover doing this slightly larger piece of ephemera. Let's go back in time and start with the whole peacock idea. Hi guys, it's day seven of the Defember Ember challenge and the prompts are safety pins and stamps. Bit of a weird combination. I'm still gonna try and get this into my mum's boho journal. I have been thinking about it. And the first thing I have is this chocolate packaging, which is super pretty on the inside. So I'm thinking I can make a pocket or a tuck spot or something using this packaging if I cut it down. That's the first thing I'm going to do. This has now been cut down and these were actually already scored into the chocolate package. All I've done is cut them back a little bit so they fit together better. What I want to do is cut out this peacock and place it on the front of this. I fussy, <clears throat> I fussy cut out the peacock and I actually added as much feathering as I could in that fussy cutting. And from the background that that peacock was on, I've cut a strip. Before this all goes on, something I do like to do, which I picked up from Laurie Marie Jenkins, is to get a black permanent ink and on the back just edge it and that means if there's any white showing in on those fussy cuts it won't show through and it will help pop this a little bit. Now we're just going to simply glue and hopefully get I'm using Fabri-Tac along the edge this is quite shiny and i haven't roughed it up so i'm hoping this will work often what i do is i clip things or shove a weight on them till they dry to help them stay down so i'll probably shove a weight on this one the next thing is going to be to stick the peacock on so when we push it down we're going to push it down using kitchen paper to try and stop too much glue coming out of the edges. Here is how we're going to include the safety pins. Using the silicone glue, the safety pin is going to become a peacock feather and be attached to the peacock. Holding it in place, maybe for a count of 20, it will still move for a couple of minutes, so be very, very careful. I'm going to cover the tail with as many safety pin feathers as I can. Okay, now to add a little bit of glamour, because that's now dry. So again, using the silicone glue and the gemstones, we're just gonna put those where the feathers would have the little eye type coloring. I can pick this up. I may even put one at the top, even though that's not strictly as it would look because sometimes as you can see they're overlapping a little bit i'm going to attach this to the page that it's going on and i'm going to use these folded 
bits from the packaging just to give it a little bit of lift. Again, I will use the silicone glue and probably a weight to help secure it down. It's not a pocket and it's not a belly band. I don't know what you'd call it. Maybe a tuck spot, but a big tuck spot. While that's drying, I have from the internet some stamps. I've got some horror stamps in case I do a second project on a horror theme and I've got some Indian stamps that I've just resized on Pixar Tap and I'm going to fussy cut those out ready for the stamp aspect. What I also found in my supplies which I think was just sheer luck is this little envelope I've got two of them and I think this was from AliExpress that actually have Indian postage stamps on them and a paper that doesn't show India but shows Madagascar which is in the Indian Ocean. I'm going to include these papers in these envelopes so they are journaling areas. Just fold them up and put, pop them in along with the stamps. Before I do that I'm going to edge everything with the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide just to age it a little bit. Here we go then. That's the tuck spot. In here we've got some Indian stamps on this little envelope and inside everything's been stained up. You have a big piece of paper that you can journal on that again has been inked up around the edges and that hopefully has covered the prompts, stamps and safety pins. For the gothic horror version. They've just pulled out some pieces, distressed them with the vintage photo and I thought we would just create maybe some pockets, tuck spots, maybe some clusters, just play. With it being gothic horror I'm going to probably use the black safety pins. Initially we could so you could do it that way and that way you could actually access it that way as well and that would be in a way more useful than sealing everything down unless you split open the top which you could do as well yeah yeah let's do that so we're going to split open the top so we're going to seal it this way i have to think as i go along sometimes sorry if it's not always clear but I often do these videos without a real plan. I'm having to think of what I'm going to do as I do it. I'm just going to take the scissors and snip along the top here, lightly in, taking the distress ink because we've now removed some of it. We'll just distress that edge again. And we could even do a little nip there that you would have an obvious pocket. You can just about see it. Get that about halfway on there. We're just going to do a little one. Go back round bits that have now been missed. And we put it on here. What we can do is we can glue it along the top edge, along this side edge, along this edge and you would have a tuck spot here and also a pocket here. I've got two envelopes so I think you could maybe do it with both. Off camera, I've backed these top trump cards with this paper and I've punched a hole in them. I've pulled out from the little scrap box here some scraps of material and I have these black safety pins. So I'm thinking we'll push these through and then we have the safety pin and we have a stamp and it might be that we could just safety pin all of that onto that card like that and pop it in one of these pockets here and then basically do the same thing with this one. Okay so 
that could be considered the outside of this decorated. I could put a little bit of extra collage on to give it a very finished look. I might do that. I do have these tuck spots, so I might have to look for some really, really little tags for these. And they're not going to be very big at all. That one's bigger, that one's quite small. But let's look at the inside. You can keep it simple so that you create some journaling spot here. I'm going to stick this one down. Again, using the silicone glue as best we can. These are not easy to stick down. What would be really cool is if you could get a decent amount of glue on that end as well, but it's quite difficult. I will work my way down these and then put a weight on it to secure them to the band. For this page, I already had this tag made, so I might doll down these edges and do a little collage that also has one of the stamps I got off the internet on it. I've doubled down all the stickers with the vintage photo. I'm going to do a very, very simple collage on this tag, but I want to include that stamp. I'm gonna go this way, it'll be this one first. Let me trim up those edges in a minute where it goes over the tag. Then I was going to have maybe the moth flying that way. Again, trim it if it goes over the tag. The skull at the bottom. Flip this over and trim these bits off. Then we want to put this little stamp on. Put it here. A quickly stabilo around this. Try to highlight it a bit by smudging it. If necessary, get a little bit of water. Create that effect. What I'm going to do is use an off cut to create a belly band across here, along the edge here. Want as much space as possible on that belly band. On this tag, just so we stay with the theme, pop with a bit of silicone, a safety pin on there. Let that take. So that is that tag done. Only thing we have is the back page to decorate. Going to use what we've got. Might be one of these. Last time we went inside. So this time go outside maybe. And we do still have some of these stamps somewhere. We've got a couple of the Dracula ones. We could throw those across there. You could put one last safety pin on if you wanted to. Could just stick it through the top. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that could be added. That I think I've run out of stamps, but we do have material. So we could take just a tiny piece of off cut pin through that, hopefully pin it through this page. So we have another safety pin. This should now be dry enough that we can put this in. I'm hoping it's gonna fit, yep. And there we go, lots of stamps, lots of safety pins as part of the prompt for day seven. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It does help other people see the video. If you're not already, please consider subscribing and let me know what you think of these two very different safety pin looks in the comments below. And I will see you next time.